The Legacy Minds program is a New South Wales government initiative that delivers projects that reduce safety and environmental risks at Legacy Mine sites across New South Wales. The Ottery Mine was worked from 1882 to 1957. It was one of the first tin and arsenic mines in the Emmerville district. Given its age, the mine has important historical features with significant conservation and heritage value. So this project is a, is a joint project with Soil Conservation partnering with Legacy Mines. From day one, pretty much the job scope changed and that's what you have to expect with these legacy sites. They're often uh, difficult access, dealing with highly contaminated tailings, lots of layers, environmental layers with critters that have made home in the caves and the tunnels. There's also another overlay with the heritage items all left behind us that we needed to protect. My role in the project would be the interface between the on-site production and the client and the project control group. Within that project control group we had geochemists from Earth Systems and designers from GHD. We also had consultants for the heritage side of things and the environmental side of things. Before we started we built a 23,000 cube cell to put our waste in, in strategic layers that was guided by a geochemist. And so we brought our layers in different waste bodies, um, including tailings and slimes, as well as the waste rock dumps themselves. And that the total waste that we brought in was about 57,000 tonnes. So this was a highly technical project. Uh, we needed specialised subcontractors. Um, and we tried to use, utilise local as much as possible. About three quarters of our plant and machinery and operators came from local or regional areas. The project was delivered through a difficult period with COVID-19 lockdowns, which limited the number of site inspections that the Legacy Mines program was undertaken throughout the work. However, the Soil Conservation Service communication was exemplary. We had regular weekly meetings with the client and the working group which enabled us to uh, respond to issues and work through problems as they arose. So one of the real challenges with this site was the access. So if you can imagine accessing sites like this with heavy machinery, 30 tonne dump truck and excavators, it was a real challenge and a real achievement for our contractors and our field staff to be able to manage those cuts and fills safely and just to program it so we could get all those wastes out. One of the challenges on this project is constructing a containment cell in a post-mining landscape where there's lots of voids and as we we're excavating the cell to its design levels we exposed a number of these voids uh, which would compromise the integrity of the cell. So they had to be sealed off from oxygen. We um, employed some innovative designs using uh, large stones that were site one to plug the voids and progressively using smaller stones to cap it off and installing geotextiles to do a final seal before beginning to place our waste on the cell. Investigations prior to works commencing identified a colony of microbats in one of the adits. This required uh, staging our works at an appropriate time when they weren't hibernating and to do bat counts and to minimise our disturbance in the footprint of where they occupied. The site before SES came in was like a moonscape and there was nothing growing on there. Yes, it was just very bare and rugged. Yeah, it was, and they've just transformed it into a beautiful beautiful area. It's just lovely to look at and you can see that in the future with the grasses starting to grow and things that it's going to be not an eyesore anymore, it's going to be picturesque. I would certainly partner with Soil Conservation Service again. I've worked with them previously on projects and found them to be solutions focused, um, getting the job done with a good team and got the outcome we wanted for the government so absolutely I would work with SoilCon again. So the success of this project is really measured by what we've left behind and we've managed to excavate major waste bodies of contaminated tailings, highly contaminated with arsenic and a whole list of other, other contaminants and now they're all taken out of their drainage lines and are contained in the cell. 